They can be entangled and they act as one. So normal logic says if you have two distinct things, they can only act independently. Science has now, from the time of, that's why you have quantum, um, quantum physics, is that they were able to entangle and it actually the last thing they did, they entangled about 3,000 independent particles. So they acted as one. They all act in unison. So I'm trying to give people a rational to understand the concept of the Trinity before I go into the Bible. Can I respond to that? Yes. Okay. So you're basically talking about the same particle, right? The same particle exhibiting di in different no. ways. No. It's so it's a different particle. It's two distinct okay. particles. So two distinct particles. Yes, that's why it's called entanglement. Okay. So when you talk about two distinct parti yes. particles, do they behave the same way or different way? The same. The same way. When they're entangled. When they're entangled. So they're originally, okay. they act independently. When they're entangled, they act as one. They act as one. Yeah, they can't be described okay. as independent. Now, how is that related to the Trinity? Because because we know that the Trinity yes. doesn't act as one. They act, they have different roles, don't they? Yes. They act differently. But you, so they are different persons yes. acting differently and hence they are distinct. As you said okay. earlier, so, based on the creed, yes. these three are distinct, yes. having distinct roles. Okay. But you say that they have the same essence. Yes. And even that I proved to you from our last conversation yes. that one has two natures and yes. the other two have only one nature, yes. i.e. the divine nature. Okay. The divine nature is not the same as a human nature. Okay. Hence, they but, do not even have the same essence. Yeah, okay. They have a different essence. But now we're jumping. Let's start off the elementary. Can three be described as one? That's why I went to science, because that's the first point I want to address. Not the nature of Christ that we will get to, but the whole, that's why I asked you very specifically, can something more than one be described as one? You said no. Then I had to go to quantum, uh, um, quantum physics to show you actually you're wrong. So, something more than one, when it's entangled, can be described as one. Because something more than one is described as independent. When you have quantum entanglement, they're both described as interdependent. They're not so you're saying two particles become one particle? They act as one. No. They cannot it be described. Does it become one particle? They, no. They're distinct, but they act in unison. They cannot be... So okay. scientists so will all say, you're saying is two particles acting together? So That's all you're saying, am I yes. right? They, they, they don't become one particle. They don't merge together. Good. So at the end yes. of the day, we are not talking about... Just like the way you're saying one being. Okay. Yes? yes. In three persons. Yes. And remember I asked you last time. I don't know if you've got the answer this time. Okay. Can a person be defined as a being? Can a person... Yes, they can. They can? Yes. So we are talking about three beings in one being. Okay. Is that right? You're talking about three persons. No, three beings three in persons. one being. Three no, they're not three Remember three you said, beings. just like you said, yes. a person can be defined as a being. Yes. So Jesus is a being. But that's a human being. We're not talking about... That is a human. Not, I didn't use the word be, human. Yes. I said a I being. Was, I was referring to human. Okay, I wasn't referring to human. Okay. I was referring to the Trinity. Yes. In the Trinity, you believe three persons as yes. one being. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Now, one person within the Trinity, yes. can that one person, mm -hmm. say for example, the Holy Spirit, okay. can the Holy Spirit be, de be defined as a being? The, they are three persons no, just answer this and question. one being. Just answer this question. Yeah, can the Holy essence. Spirit be defined as a being? Under what terminology? Do you know the meaning of being? Give me your example. No, I want to know yours because my, you know, mine, mine your is, creed. Yeah, mine is different from yours. My friend. So that's why I'm asking okay, you what so is Okay, so give me yours then. So, in terms of they are one being, they share one essence, they are one no, God. No, define being to me. What is a being according to you, in that context? So, in terms of a personhood, no, you have person. three persons. Being, being, just a being. Okay. Forget about the word person for a minute. Okay. okay. Just define the definition of a being in the context of the Trinity. Okay, so in terms of being, we'll describe a being as God. And they ha God a being has, is a God. I'd say in terms of the Trinity, God is a being. God is a being. Yes. I'm not asking you what is God. Okay. I'm asking you define the term being. Okay. So a being would be an entity that can communicate, that can reason, that can uh, create, that can, yeah, yeah, that yeah. can speak, communicate. Okay. So stuff. based on that definition, yeah. is Jesus a being? Is Jesus? The, the second person of the Trinity, the Son. Is the Son a being based on that definition? Okay, so first of all... Are you going to answer? No, no. First Are you going to answer that question? Wait, let me... First of all, we're jumping again. No, yes. no, no. Answer that question. Because you wanted to go to the look, scripture. Look, look, look. You define right. a being. No. Now answer the question. Yes. Very right. simple. See, we're jumping. No, you're the one who to change the No, no. But you, no, you, I'm not changing the topic. Because you, first of all, you asked me, can I prove from the Bible 
there is a multiplicity in God. Now you're asking about something else. Yes, that's why I said, let me go to the Bible and address that point because we're going further ahead in the conversation. No, but so let's go look, to the look, scripture we, and see. You're the one who talked about yes. one being, three okay. persons, am I right? Yes. All I'm asking is to define and elaborate and on I, what you and I just said. Def and I did define. You said, you said a being is someone who, who basically communicates yes. to us. Did you say consciousness? I don't know. Did you? Someone that can communicate, that yeah. can reason, that, that can, can bring reason. into life. Does it have consciousness? Does it have consciousness? Of yes. its own? Would you, what, of if, its own. What, what do you mean? Consciousness of its own. But what is it self-aware? Is it self-aware? A being would be self-aware. Okay, so being is self-aware. Doesn't all that fit the second person of the Trinity? Pardon? Doesn't all that fit? Because the, the second person of the Trinity, yes. i.e. the Son of God, yes. i.e. Jesus Christ, was able to communicate, had his own will, yes. had the ability to basically be aware of himself. Okay. Yes? Does that fit? Does that definition of a being fit Jesus Christ? So Jesus could do all those things. Okay, so Jesus is a being. Jesus is a personhood that shares a divine essence with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Is he a being, yes or no? He's not a separate being. From, I didn't ask you a separate being. Yeah, is he okay. a being at all? He is a person that can communicate and is part of the divine Godhead. Is he a being or not? Very simple. Come on. I'm not playing games here. Okay. I'm just asking you a simple question. I'm answering. No, you're not. You're not, you're not telling me if the person that okay. you're talking about is a being or not. I know okay. he's a person. I don't yes. dispute that. Okay? Yes. So let's not talk about something we both agree upon. Okay. Let's, I want to identify and okay. acknowledge but, whether you, okay. whether your understanding okay. of a being is the okay. same as mine. But, but is Jesus okay. the right. second person of the Trinity yes. a being or not? Is he a being? It depends on what your definition of being is. I'm not is. saying by your definition. And of I gave you my definition. Okay, good. So based on your definition of yes. the being, is he a being? Is Jesus Christ a being? The second person of the Trinity, the Son, based on your definition of a being, is the second person of the Trinity a based being? Based on my definition, yes. Good. So we got a being inside a being. That's your definition. No, I'm asking you. I said my definition, yes, not your definition. Look, look, I'm asking you. Yes. You're saying three persons in one being. That yes. being is God. Yes. Okay? Jesus Christ is also a being, which you just confirmed. Okay. Unless you want to backtrack on that. Are you sticking Je to that? Jesus Christ is also a being. Say it, say it again. I'm misunderstanding what you're trying I'm to communicate. I'm talking English here. Okay, say okay? it again. And if there's something you misunderstand, please okay. ask me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Say it so again. based on your definition of a being, Jesus Christ, is he a being or not? Is Jesus a being? Based on your definition of a being. Okay, Jesus is a being that is not separate from the Father or the Holy Spirit. Okay, so he's a being oh, yeah. who's not separate from the Father or yes. the Holy Spirit, but he's still a being. He's still okay. a being, right? So now we have a being inside a being. But again, and this there is, is only one person. Again, this is going to your definition. This no, is not, not what mine. I said. Not okay. No, I Did said you not to say you, a person, three persons inside a being? Did you not say that? I said there is three personhood, you have one God. They share the same divine essence. They are able to communicate with each other. I didn't say that Jesus is a separate being from the Father. They are is one. Based on the creeds. They are, they are, dis the they are distinct personhoods yes. of a divine essence. No, when you say distinct personhood, what yes. do you understand by that? So for example. How are they distinct so from one for, another? For people to understand, yeah. the Trinity is like water. Water can have uh, be like ice, it can be like in the liquid form or gaseous form. At the same time? At the same time. Give me an example. I can give you an example of the thermodynamic experiment called the triple point of water. Yes. This is by science where water can exist in three forms at once because... So what, 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 yes. is, what is that example that it's is called giving? the triple point of water. Okay, so this triple point, yes. in what state does it exist? What do you mean what When state? it's in the triple form, what state is All it? All three states. So All three it states. Can, it can exist. So you can actually see it as yes. just steam? Yes. You can see no, it just no, no, as no. steam? It, it's so it's not steam. Listen. Can you see it just as water? Okay. As liquid what? only? What is your point? My point is, if at the same time yes. it exhibits all three properties of, yes. of uh, water, ice, and steam, yes. then yes, you might have a point. But I'm asking you, at that point, That's my point. when it's in is in a triple form, yes, is it in the form of steam only? No. No, it's not. No. So what is it in the form of? 
So the triple point of water is a thermodynamic experiment. Now what is it in the form? So what they, form is it? Is it in steam form? Yeah, I'm explaining to you. Yeah, go on. It's they it when they create the experiment, water will exist as a liquid gas and ice all at the same time okay. and you can observe it with your eyes they have you seen it it's, have you seen it yes you, you, can go, you can go on youtube and watch it no, but have you seen this as i've watched it on okay, youtube so what, what did it appear to you you can see all three you know when i see steam yeah. i just see ice Ex do you Again, see ice man uh, hashim is making himself making an ignorant statement everyone go on youtube and type the triple point of water it's a well-known thermodynamic experiment this is why at the beginning i said to hashim it's not what you know it's what you don't know because because what you don't know will make, come back and make you look foolish. Because you, you know, by the way, I didn't make any statement. I'm asking yeah, so him yes. because he's seen you, it on YouTube. I haven't. It, yes, so it's not me, just YouTube. So it's a, it's listen, a known thermodynamic I'm to tell you that I'm making statements. I don't yes, know. I'm telling the reason, you. Listen, and listen, saying, listen, people, I, I, the reason yes. I'm asking you okay. is because I haven't seen it. I, and, I'm and that is not from ignorance. Okay. The reason people ask and inquire questions is because they don't know. Okay. Okay. So don't try to use this. Uh, Strowman argument again. You have been okay. doing this all along today. All I right. don't know why. Okay. So when you saw it on YouTube, yeah. What form was, was it in the form of ice? You see them all three at once. No. What form was it in? When you see, because you can see it. Yeah, you can. You see tell it. me what form was it you in? You can see all three at once. It reaches an equilibrium where. Uh, How long is this for? The, it How can, long does it, it last? It can be for infinity. For infinity. So basically, with water, it freezes when the pressure reaches a certain level. Yeah. And obviously, when. Uh, I think the temperature is at a certain level, that's when it turns to gas. So they control the pressure and the temperature, which causes an equilibrium where they all coexist at once. And this equilibrium can long last for as long as, as they want to. Right. And when you see it, what do you see? Because you know when, when you observe something with your eyes,